Good afternoon. I'm Father John from St. Andrew's Anglican Church in Douglas, Georgia. And today is Wednesday of Holy Week, uh, a busy week in the Christian calendar. Uh, maybe you're doing Stations of the Cross, thinking about it at home. Uh, certainly can't go to church at this point. Um, maybe you're reading the Bible. And if you are, may I suggest to you an amazing, amazing historical account. Genesis chapter 22. Uh, I always read this in preparation of Good Friday because there's so much connecting what happens in Genesis 22 with another man. And I'll explain that in a second. In Genesis 22, God tells his friend Abraham to go to a mountain that he will show him. And in three days, he gets there. He takes with him his son, Isaac. He takes also two servants and a donkey. And when he gets to the mountain that God showed him, amazing things happen. The faith of Abraham is incredible. He says to the two servants, you wait here. I and the boy are going to go over there to worship and we will return, okay? He knew that God was gonna do something, something amazing. He didn't know what and he didn't know how. Sort of like we're getting through this COVID-19. We don't know how we're doing it, but we know that God's protection is there because we're asking him to protect us. So anyhow, as they're going up the mountain, Abraham takes wood and he puts for the burnt sacrifice on Isaac's back. Isaac carries it up. And while they're almost to the top, he looks at his father, who's got the knife and the wood and the fire, I mean the fire. And he says, Father, we have the wood and we have the knife. Where's the lamb? And Abraham looks at his son and says, my son, God himself will provide the lamb. You hear what I said? God himself did provide the lamb, God himself. Amazing, the angel of the Lord comes after Abraham takes and puts his son up lying flat on the wood and he says, don't touch him because now I know that you have not withheld your only son from me. Now the angel of the Lord is the pre-incarnate Christ and he said, from me, an angel can't say that. But what am I talking about here? Well, you see, that place, which was called Mount Moriah, David wanted to build a temple to the Lord. But because of his, discretion, his uh, indiscretionary time with uh, Bathsheba, God was not going to let him build the temple. Instead, his son Solomon would build the temple. The temple of God was built on the exact same spot where Abraham took Isaac. And right now, there's the uh, Dome of the Rock, and uh, there are some there that say, oh, Abraham took Ishmael. No, Abraham took the son of promise, Isaac, to sacrifice him. What am I going with this? That same mountain, that same mountain, mountain. Many years later, another only son carried wood for a sacrifice on his back. His name is Jesus. He was called Yeshua. Yeshua carried that wood for the sacrifice and he willingly got on the wood and then was mailed, nailed to the cross. You see what I mean? There's a lot going on here. And I'd like you to read Genesis 22 from verse one right on through, you will be blessed and you will see Jesus in that account. And now I'd like to pray with you, prayer from page 608 of the Anglican Church in North America, Book of Common Prayer. It is the Wednesday of Holy Week collect from the collection of prayers. Let us pray. Assist us mercifully with your grace, Lord God of our salvation, that we may enter with joy upon the meditation of those mighty acts by which you have promised us life 
and immortality through Jesus Christ our Lord, who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. Well, tomorrow, of course, we'll meet at one o'clock again for Monday Thursday. And uh, Monday Thursday, Holy Thursday to some, uh, that is the good, the, the night of the Last Supper and the Seder meal that took place. And so tomorrow we will meet at one o'clock, but then we will also meet at six o'clock for a Seder meal that will draw, it's a messianic Seder meal because the Messiah is through everything there. <sighs> the Passover, the blood that was put on the doorposts, it's all for Yeshua. You'll see it tomorrow night, six o'clock, right here. And then on Good Friday at noon, uh, we won't meet at one o'clock because we have a solemn service. And that solemn Good Friday service will be here, and I hope you'll join me for that. There'll be nothing on Saturday because the Lord was in the tomb on Saturday. But I can promise you that at 1030 on Easter Sunday morning, we will be singing hymns from the church. Yes, singing hymns from the church and rejoicing because Jesus Christ is risen. He's alive. And we celebrate that on Easter Sunday. Please be with me. Thank you for tuning in. And thank you for praying with me. From St. Andrew's Anglican Church in Douglas, Georgia. God bless you.